Hey, this is Alex with Evolution Helmets, and we're gonna shoot a video how to explain how to do uh, CEP installs into uh, different brands of helmets. So here we have uh, an Alpha helmet. We're gonna show you an example. They actually are nice enough to do a whole pre-drilled in Alphas. That's perfect size for a CEP. The Gentex SPH helmets and uh, Evolution HPH helmets and your all, all your generic uh, SPH series helmets between these two screws in between the di cut the distance in between them and that's where the, the hole's going to go you're going to need a drill bit of 25 over 64 and that's going to give you the perfect size hole for a cep plug and then here we have a delay example of where the hole will get put in a delay right on that that curve uh, it's going to give you plenty of space to do your cep installation now we're going to move on to doing a CEP installation inside of an Evo 252. We have all the tools you're going to need. Uh, for example, we have the uh, power drill, the bit, the 25 over 64 bit that you're going to need. Uh, we're going to need a set of vice grips. You're going to need a socket for tightening the CEP from the outside. And you're going to need some jeweler's heads to work on your speakers. So let's get comfortable and start putting a CEP in. When you order your CEP, this is how it's gonna come. We're gonna deal with just the interface portion of it, which is the plug right here. Let's go ahead and get our pieces out and show you what we're working with. Here's our plug and here is our two uh, fasteners and this is our ground solder connection. So we're going to go ahead and put this into our Evo, which has already had the hole drilled in it with our bit. Again, 25 over 64 is gonna give you a hole right there. So we're gonna get our plug. We're gonna first prep our area. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, pad out. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I'm gonna do this to give you a better view. So here's the inside of the shell with the hole that we're going to be using. And let's go ahead and put the plug through. We're going to be putting the plugs through the shell. Pass the rubber grommet through. Pass the ground through. And on the outside, we're gonna have our CEP sitting in our hole nice and pretty like that. So now we're gonna come back to the inside and we're gonna get our fasteners. We're gonna pass the ground fastener through the eyelets there. We're gonna pass it past the grommet, pass it past the solder point, and it's gonna sit right up there and it's gonna be sitting in between our gold fastener and our CEP plug. So now we're gonna do it again with the gold piece. We're gonna use this piece to go over the leads. We're gonna go over the grommet. We're gonna go past the solder point here. Make sure not to damage any of this cabling. It's very fragile. Okay, now that we're here, go ahead and get the screw threaded just a little bit first, okay? Great, that's what we want. All right, so now, we're gonna pick where we want our solder point to sit. It's gonna be right there. And we're going to now grab our clamp and our socket. We're gonna clamp from the inside, right? We're gonna take our socket from the outside and we're gonna tighten it up. Make sure that the cable is free to rotate and isn't getting kinked up. And we're just going to fasten right there, nice and tight. All right, now we are ready to solder. We're going to go ahead and place our grounding lead in the spot where we're going to solder it right there. I like to place it in position first and then come back with my soldering iron and my solder. We're just going to get it pinched underneath there. There you go. And now we're gonna get our solder, our soldering iron and our solder, and we're gonna put a little bit of solder right on that spot. 
Wait for my solder to heat up, please. Almost there. And I should be able to solder that joint, that connection. I'm gonna put our solder right there. There you go. Clean my solder tip, turn my solder off. And now let's give it a nice little, oh, geez. That wasn't supposed to happen. Let's do that again. That's why we check. I guess it was connecting with the rubber. So let's do this again. Okay. There we go. Got it flowing again. Let's get it nice and connected this time. Clean that up a little bit. All right, give it a second and good connection, good solid connection. All right, now we're done installing the CEP interface into the shell of the helmet. And all we gotta do now is pipe it into our ear cup. So here, our ear cup, we've already drilled the hole for the uh, CEP uh, plug. You're gonna have to drill your own hole. You're gonna have to uh, find a, a drill bit to do that. Um, pass our eyelets through, be careful. All right, that's through. Pass this piece through. And we're gonna get this grommet into our ear cup. I like to use a flathead screwdriver to get this in there. Okay. Be careful not to rip the rubber. Don't dig into the rubber. I'm just pushing the rubber in and helping it guide it into the cup. So now it's in there, nice and good. So now we have to feed these speaker plugs into the gold CEP speaker plugs. Okay, so we're gonna do that on camera real quick for you. You got these jeweler head, flat head screws on these plugs. We're gonna back them out. Don't back them out too much to where they fall off. Just back them out enough to where you see that the inside is open. We're gonna do the same thing over here. I'll show you before, there's the screw in there blocking it. And now I'm gonna remove lifting up the screw. Not so much that's gonna pop out and fall out and get lost. We don't want that. There you go, nice and open again. And we're going to now put these in. Actually, you know what makes it easier is if we put it into the speaker, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put I get a bigger jeweler, a little slippery. All right, there it is, one in and lock it down. And we're gonna do the same thing over here where we're gonna open up the speaker, get that in there. I'm gonna open up just a smooge more, there it goes. All right, so now we are secured there. We are opened up on those pieces and now this, this is gonna go right in there. Oh, we gotta open up just a little bit more. Okay, let's try it now. There it goes, all right. Now we're gonna tighten that down. There we go. Let's see if this one, we opened it enough. Nope, just barely didn't. There we go, let's try it now. A little bit more. There it is. And now we tighten it. There we go. Now we are connected. The CEP uh, is into the speaker system. The plug is soldered and grounded. Now we're just gonna put our speaker back in our ear cup. We're going to get these cables in there as best we can. Seal it all back up. And at this point, you're done. Your plug is complete. Your speaker is in the ear cup and your CP has been plugged in and it's wired up. Now on the outside, this is what you have. You have your plug done. And to get your CPs working at this point, all you need to do is put your canal tips on your CP wire tips, plug in and go flying and enjoy your CP. Uh, 
So that was a quick way of how to install a CEP into a helmet. Uh, I hope this answered any questions that you have. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Evolution Helmets, Aviation Survival Helicopter Helmets, and have a good day. Thank you very much.